as we hear in the first reading, comes from St. Paul's letter, first letter to the Corinthians, huh? that he did not come with sublimity of words of wisdom, uh, but rather he only preached humbly Christ crucified and tried to witness to it in his own life, humbling himself before the Lord and to his brothers and sisters. Because, you know, I think that's what the message is today, huh? Christ crucified. That you and I should die to self that Christ may live in us. We heard yesterday um, the, in the gospel about what Jesus expects and desires of us, huh? That we have to lift high the cross of Christ by the way we ourselves carry our crosses and help others to do the same. Peter, of course, you, you know, the very one that professed his faith in Christ Jesus as truly the true Lord and Savior, the Son of God, would say yesterday, God forbid anything like that should happen to you, Lord. What does Jesus say? Don't be a stumbling block for me. huh? Satan behind me. You know, we can't walk in front of the Lord. We have to walk behind him. We have to follow him. And that's exactly what Jesus is saying today. You know, to his own town folk that aren't going to listen to him. You know, they say, today, he says, today, this passage from Isaiah is fulfilled in your hearing, in me. And yet, you know, they say, oh, he, spelt, he speaks eloquently. He speaks with authority. They know that he has healed the sick, done many other miracles. And yet, he says, I can't do anything here. What? Why? For lack of faith. They question who he is. It's not Joseph's son. He's not from Nazareth. But he has come from our Heavenly Father to give us a day that is truly blessed. When I say a day, that's our whole lives. We're blessed in the good news of Jesus Christ, huh? That captives can go free. That people are blind. You know, he, he healed the blind man, but he heals us of our the blindness of our faith that we can see with 2020 vision what is his will for each and every one of us and for the world. Boy, we need that more than ever today, don't we? And so we ask God to help us, help us to walk by faith, to trust in him, that he can be the savior, not only of his own, but all those out there in the world. As Jesus says today with uh, a woman from Sidon who, feed, who is fed by Isaiah and Elisha, who heals Naaman, the, the, the Syrian, huh, from his leprosy. Let us pray that God will heal us of our spiritual leprosy, huh? our hardness of heart, that we may have hearts unto Christ. We imitate him as Paul does, and all those apostles, martyrs, and saints who have gone before us, that we may witness to Jesus' goodness, love, and righteousness in a still waiting world.